what I'm about to tell you, you are probably going to reject it and click off. Before you do that, just hear me out. Avoiding the sun may be just as dangerous as smoking cigarettes. Now, I know you probably think I'm exaggerating, but just hear me out. There's an association between at least 17 different cancers and a vitamin D insufficiency and autoimmune diseases and cardiovascular disease. Vitamin D is intimately involved in over 2,000 different genes. Our immune system absolutely cannot work without vitamin D. And check this out. It's virtually impossible to get your required vitamin D from your diet. You're going to get between 5 to 10%. And that's if you're consuming fatty fish, organ meats, egg yolks, which a lot of people don't even do that. 90 to 95% of vitamin D comes from the sun. Now check out these statistics. There are over 5,000 deaths per year worldwide from too much sun. But look at how many people die from a lack of sun. 1,684,677 people every single year. So there's 329 times more people that are negatively affected by a lack of sun versus the actual exposure to sun. This is based on a fascinating book called Embrace the Sun by Mark Sorensen, who looked at and evaluated 1,300 different studies on the topic. So they concluded that for every one person who dies from sun exposure, there's 329 people who die of a lack of sun exposure. I mean, just think about the mainstream recommendation for sun by the American Dermatology Association. You must stay out of the sun, and if you're out in the sun, use sunblock because the sun is dangerous. Even in the early 1900s, they had uh, sanitariums that you can go to to bathe in the sun as a cure for TB and asthma and many different illnesses. Well, what about melanoma, the deadly form of skin cancer? In 1935, one out of 1,500 people developed melanoma. In 2014, one in 50 people develop melanoma. And if we compare these two time periods, in the past, we got a lot more sun. We were on the farm. Nowadays, we're inside. 75% of all melanomas are located in areas where we don't expose our skin to sun. It's a lack of sun that puts someone at risk for melanoma. And I'm not talking about being out in the sun and cooking yourself to the point where you're burned. You should never do that. I'm talking about a moderate amount of sun, so you'd never burn. But there's something else the sun gives us for protection against cancer. Let me show you. 7% of the sun is UV rays. 39% is visible spectrum of light. And 54% of all the sun's rays are infrared potent stimulus of melatonin and 90 to 95 percent of all the melatonin is produced by this interaction between infrared and your skin and it increases the production of subcellular melatonin it's the melatonin it also enhances atp so there's two things that protect the mitochondria vitamin d and melatonin and both of them are triggered by the exposure to sun I do know that there's going to be people that will disagree because we've been so indoctrinated into thinking that sun all of a sudden is really bad for us. But I hope you could at least take a different viewpoint and just take a look at the information. I'm going to put the references down below. Check it out. I think your next step should be to start to get more sun exposure, be outside more often. And on that note, if you have not seen my video on vitamin D, you might want to watch it. I put it up right here.